Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pointed by Kathy Miller. Welcome back to our channel and uh, hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing something a little bit different again today. I have my base down and today I have my color to go in blue and I have the other part in black. They're both color to go paints. Correct. I just got to put a little bit dab here. And those you get at Sherwin-Williams and you can get them in lots of different colors. Oh my. Yeah, you just can't believe how many colors. So what I think Kathy's going to do is do a, a <laughs> drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin on the blue part. And then she's going to play it by ear of uh, what she does after that. So. Yeah, so stay tuned because you're going to see this as I go along. I do have a plan. <laughs> But we don't know if that's going to work. Okay, this is Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. Lemon Drop by Primary Elements. This is this little piggy shimmer. Pearlux Apple Green. Mar Marigold by Primary Elements. Carmen Primary Elements. This little piggy Golden Peach. This little piggy Seagrass. This is Dioxazine Purple Liquid by Liquid, by Liquid Text Basics. Quinacridone Magenta by Golden, and this little piggy, Simplicity. I'm using my Black Magic Cell Activator, and we're gonna go from there. So I'm gonna start drizzling, and Phil, just take it away. <laughs> Jeez. Here's well, my Prussia Blue. Prussia Blue. Well, I'll start off by letting everybody know, of course, that you use the same recipe, recipe <laughs> for all these paints and pigments, and that's in video 478. I'll have a direct link to that recipe in the description box. And that uh, recipe video actually talks about how Kathy does her base, how she does her pouring mediums, and how she does her cell activator. So it's a wonderful recipe to get all the basics of how Kathy uh, makes her paints and pigments and cell activators. Yeah, so I mean, here we go. Uh... I figured, what the heck, I, I have to try, you know, some of this stuff. I was laying in bed last night, people. I just could not get to sleep because I kept thinking to myself, okay, what design do I want to do tomorrow? Came up with a really cool design, and then I thought, well, I don't know. And my design, this design is a <laughs> the drizzle swipe where I could spin, and the other design was a bloom. So, I mean, it didn't. Either one went together. It's like, oh my goodness, how? what am I doing here? I need to get to sleep. It was like 10 to 2. And I'm still thinking what I'm going to do today. Well, you got to go with uh, what uh, gives you the inspiration at the moment. So. Well, I should have just gotten up. <laughs> Jeez, don't get me up. I know, you would have said, oh, what are you doing? Do you not feel good? No, I have an inspiration, Phil. What color was this one now? It's Lemon Drop. Lemon Drop, okay. By Primary Elements. It shows up very nicely against uh, the blues. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I got some uh, new colors that I'm using today. Actually, this, uh, this little piggy shimmer is new. Oh, okay. I just opened that up today. So we're going to see what that does. Kathy does have a Facebook channel called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join. You can post your creations, ask questions, make comments, have fun with the group. And it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or an expert. Uh, we want to have you in there so everybody can learn. I mean, even if, you know, you just want to uh, learn how to start doing the paint pouring and stuff, you don't even have to paint, um, come in and and just learn some, you know, techniques from everybody. Because I do have a couple people in there that they don't paint, but they really, really enjoy seeing all of everyone's creations. Oh, that's true, that's mm -hmm. true. And that might get you started. What color is this again? This is Pearl X Apple Green. Okay. This is a pretty color too. Yeah, so anyways, like I was saying, I was doing all this in my sleep last night, hoping it would, you know, <laughs> come about. Give you, give you some inspiration on what you're going to do, huh? Well, I finally just got up at 
20 after 5 and said, you know what, I've had enough of this. As soon as Phil got up, I said, okay, what do you think of this? He goes, well, wait a minute, I'm not even awake yet. And I gave her my usual answer, huh? I know. <laughs> and he goes, well, just wait, I'm, I'm not even really awake. It's like, okay, yeah, I know you're not listening. This is Marigold, Primary Elements. I love this color. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, head on over to Sherwin Williams and uh Color to go, that's what it's called. Yeah, color to pick go. out some colors and yeah. Uh, mix it to order, that's for sure. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Then I had uh, somebody ask me as they couldn't find the uh, color place at Walmart and asked if they changed the label. No, they did not change the label. Maybe they were just out of stock. Yeah, they don't always have it in. No. But, uh... That's why when they have it in, mm -hmm. I buy like five gallons at a time because a there, lot of times they're out. There are some discounts you can take advantage of uh, from the companies that Kathy is an affiliate with. A Color Art Primary Elements, Arteza Paints and their products, KS Resin, and Boom Gel Stains, which also uh, handles uh, Australian Floetrol, and that is a U.S. distributor, so it doesn't take you forever to get your uh, orders processed and in, into your hands. So uh, there are direct links in the description box for discounts on all their products. Yeah, so take advantage of it. That was Carmen. This is Golden Peach by this little piggy. I'm going to have lots of colors yeah, I was today. Say, I Phil. think you're using uh, 11 colors today. Yeah, I think there's probably 11. And I think I even took three away. Well, done with the base, it's 13. <laughs> This is a new one, this little piggy seagrass. This is a pretty color. Yeah, that is. This is really a pretty color. I like that color a lot. Mm -hmm. Kathy did update her spinner and pool setup video. So there's lots of tips in there, how she sets everything up and some tips on spinning. And so check that video out. I don't remember the video number, but I will have a direct link in the description box to the new spinner and pool setup video. As you can see, my pool isn't that full of paint at the moment, which is nice. But it's going to be getting there, let me tell you. Ooh. Oh, and another thing I've been meaning to tell everyone, um, when you go and get your paint from Walmart. Well, or anywhere. anywhere you go to get your, your base paint. Do not let them shake it because there are so many bubbles, it'll take days to get your bubbles out. Now, do they, this um, color to go, they have to shake that They though. do because yes. they have to add, add the, the color, color for right. you. But if you're just getting Kathy's base white color, color anywhere. place from Walmart or anywhere. Or anywhere. Um, Don't let them shake it. Yeah. Because they're going to say, oh, it needs to be shook. <laughs> you shake it yourself, which stir you it. don't shake it. You stir it. As I always say, no, please don't shake it. Well, you need to, you know, it's been sitting around. No, I know. I'll just stir it myself. But that's a lot of work, ma'am. No, it's less bu bubbles, mister. Well, then you can start using it right away instead of having it Well, you can't use it right. Well, right. you can't use it right away. You have to let it sit for a day after you stir it. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm, but that's I'm better corrected. than a couple days. Thanks for correcting me. I didn't realize that. Yeah. It's better than a couple days. Yes. So, okay. Our last one is going to be Simplicity from this little piggy. We'll see what this does. We got lots of colors here, Phil. Yeah, I can't wait to see what... Uh, what results from all this? Do you think it's going to stay out of the black when we spin it? <laughs> well, it's okay if it goes into the black, so it doesn't have to be I might even exact. just drag it into the black. Oh, that's true. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay, this is my black magic. 
that we're using today, which is Amsterdam Black Oxide, or Oxide Black, and Floetrol. Australian Floetrol. Correct. Okay. Put it on my tile, and away I go. Okay, here we go, Phil. You ready? Mm, yes. Okay. Oh, I gotta pop a few of those bubbles. Gotta pop some bubbles? Yep, I just saw a couple. Kathy has put together two really neat video compilations. One is a compilation of her most popular videos, and the other is a compilation of tips and techniques. Um, those, there are links to those two compilation videos in the description box. Okay, good. We're getting the cell activity and growth that we're, you're looking for on this part of the canvas. That's what we want. My black magic is doing his job. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I haven't yeah. done one of these in a while. Look how, um, as time goes on, the cells, many of the cells anyways, uh, enlarge. So spreads the cell activator. Instantly she gets the cells starting to come out That's what and we want. grow. You can see from the first swipe to the last swipe how the cells have increased in size already. One thing I do want to point out is in this area Kathy just did, that's the longest swipe that it takes and you're as you can see, you run out of cell activator if your swipe is a little too long. So that's just something to keep in mind Shoot. when you're swiping. I got my finger in that one. <laughs> oh jeez. Jeez. Oh boy. Come on. Whatever. I'm a knuckle. <laughs> That was not good, Phil. All right. It was not good. I got a knuckler. Well. That's okay. You have to be careful. There is a, definitely a technique to do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want to put your knuckles you've, you've in it. You've done this uh, uh, thousands of times, I think. And uh, if you're not careful, you get a little bit of a hiccup there. <laughs> you get a knuckle in. Yeah, I'm going to go over it again. What about you got a little corner here? I know, I got that too, but I want to quick do this. Because I had my knuckle in it. Just bring some cells up. Okay. <laughs> Thinking, oh boy, that just got my knuckle. But that's okay. Anything well, can be as fixed. As you can see, you can do a little repair by going over it again with some more cell activator. Or your knuckle. So, <laughs> You have a, another little bit of knuckle well, in area there. I know. I'm going to get there. Oh, that's okay. With my knuckle. Oh, brother. Oh, that was a good one, wasn't it? Hey, things don't have to be perfect. Sometimes when you have a little bit of a... Imperfection. Imperfection or glitch, it turns out uh, wonderfully <laughs> in the final painting. I'm thinking, oh, I just smeared the whole thing with my knuckle. Okay. Huh. Okay, so well, Kathy has half this the pretty. canvas with the drizzle and the swipe. Maybe we, should the call, cells. maybe we should call it the knuckle swipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. Thinking ah, that is not good. I think good. this is going to be kind of a cool... Okay, now what I'm debating... Do I want to bring some of the color, a little bit of the color into here and tie it in a little bit? 
Well, if you're going to do a little wrecking in the swiped area, maybe you can, while you're doing that wrecking, uh, start with a couple of small um, swipes, swipes here. Yeah, with with the uh, wrecking wrecking lines up into there. I gotta there. be careful so I don't drip it. That's what I don't want to do. I, don't I mean, you don't have to. to you don't really have to put anything up into the black area if you don't really want to. I mean, it would be kind of a a different composition by not having anything there. True. So maybe work with the colored area first, and then decide if you want to do anything with the black. Yeah, we'll see. Because I think it's quite striking the way it is. It is. Yeah, he is using the flat end of her wrecking stick to do the wrecking lines. You want to make sure you wipe your stick off after every time. As you can see, it makes a nice frilly line. It has a lot of character to the colored areas. This might be pretty cool, Phil. I, I think I'm really liking it. I'm liking the black area black, actually. Okay. So you sure you don't want me to just to go swirls? Well, you're the artist and you have the vision of what you want it to look like. I just think it's it's very striking the way it is, and but that's that's just my opinion. You know, Kathy is using. The pointed end of our wrecking stick and that just gives you faint lines that's fine yeah that kind of ties that in faint lines wrecking lines into the black area just a little bit I just want to see something oh that was cool too All right. I'm glad you did this <laughs> because it does help to take away the sort of abrupt edge. Correct. It's just enough to tie them together. Okay. See? Yes. That might just be enough. We'll see. Okay, Abracadabra. We're going to see what happens here. I, I just want to show the cells as they are now so I can kind of show how they expand once you spin it a little. Okay. And uh, because that is a little thinner, I don't know if you have to spin it. There we go. Too fast. Yeah, you don't want to go too fast. I got to go faster than that though. Okay. What way did I just go? You, no, you just... I yeah, got to go this right. way. Wow. I got to go a little faster because it's really not coming no, in. No, it isn't. It isn't. And that Kathy is basically demonstrating the proper way to do the spinning. Start out slowly and see how much the paint moves. You can always uh, spin some more and a little faster afterwards. If you start with too fast of a spin to begin with, you, you may ruin the composition and not have a chance, of course, to go back and and fix that. So. Start slow and add speed to develop what you're looking for. It's cool. And look at those cells. This is cool. Look at the size and the color of those cells. It's just that is cool. Fantastic. Oh, mama mia! This turned that out is so cool. Very, very cool. What was the name All of that? All those colors. 
Glenn Close, Mama, oh, Mamma Mia. Yeah. That yes. is cool. Yes. This is really, really cool, people. I love this. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I brought yeah. that in yes. a little bit. You get an overall view of... Uh, this is really the, neat. Actually, what we call the stained glass area, and then the black, and it's, it's very striking um, to have that... It's really neat. Black I love setting this. off the colors and so forth. And you developed just wonderful cells. Amazing. Yeah, really amazing color. You picked up all the colors, the 11 colors you used. The cells are very nicely shaped and sized. And the black cell activator goes around the cells to help set them off. And the blue is coming up through. The blue. Oh, yes. If it's, you can see, the blue. Like, this side had the blue base. Correct. That's what's coming through. Okay. The blue. This is really, I'm really excited about this. I love this. Can you this. turn it so that, what okay, way? that's okay. That's a good way. This, this shows. This is really, I hope you guys like this. I mean, I love this. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And I like how that blue is coming up. Yes. Through it, it really, really offsets a lot of these colors. And the cells are amazing. They're amazing. Yeah, they are. I'm, I'm loving this. If you like this, people, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Um, like I said, this was not the plan I was dreaming about last night, but this is a plan that we came up with today. And um, I hope you all like it. Please subscribe to our channel. You never know what we're going to be doing. Um, if you are a subscriber, we love you all. Even if you're not, we love you. We'd like you to join us. Please go to my Facebook page, Pain Pouring by Ka Kathleen Miller. We have, what, 5,800 members in there now? Yes. Wow, it, it's growing fast, and so is our channel. I Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting Phil and I. We love all of you, and we really appreciate you. So leave me a comment what you think about this, and um, until later, everybody. See you later, alligators. Bye. Take another peek at it. This is something you could hang a variety of ways, mm -hmm. depending on. So you could hang it like that. Right. Or you could hang it like this. Yes, or even this at the bottom. Or you could hang it like this. <laughs> well, you know, those are the I mean, four ways. Yeah, I mean, it's. You can, it, there is. There's a variety of ways that you can hang this. It's beautiful. One more tour through here because you've got such. Kind okay, of slow, beautiful cells. Oh, my goodness! The cells are amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this. Okay, bye for the second time, everybody. Bye.